Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends, and happy Monday. So I hope you had a great Mother's Day weekend. As I was preparing my Moses message for uh, Sunday, I read something out of Exodus chapter 6 that the Lord had said to Moses to tell the people of Israel that I thought was a good word for us leading us into this new week. So let me read it. Exodus 6, verses 6 to 9 says this, the Lord speaking to Moses, Therefore say to the people of Israel, I am the Lord. I will free you from your oppression and will rescue you from slavery in Egypt. I will redeem you with a powerful arm. I will claim you as my own people. I will bring you into the land. I will give it to you as your very own possession, for I am the Lord. And then get this next verse. So Moses told the people of Israel what the Lord had said, but they refused to listen anymore. They had become too discouraged by the brutality of their slavery. So the children of Israel had become so discouraged, so beaten down by their brutal, oppressive circumstances that they couldn't, and then ultimately wouldn't, listen to the Lord and receive his loving hope and promise. You know, it takes courage for us, doesn't it? In some of the same ways it did for them, but it takes courage for us to live in today's world. And God wants this day and every day to encourage us in his divine purpose. But when we become so discouraged by ongoing, difficult, challenging, yes, even oppressive circumstances, what happens is that we lose our strength to deal with those circumstances and to be overcomers in Jesus Christ. And so what's the antidote to that? as we live out our life? Well, the antidote is always the love of God. 1 Corinthians 13, 7 says, love never gives up. Love lose, never loses faith. It is always hopeful. And then get this, love endures through every circumstance. And so what's the answer to the difficult circumstances that you and I may find ourselves in today. Maybe there are circumstances that have been ongoing and maybe they're not. The key is to continue to be encouraged in our life in a way that we're putting ourselves in a place where we can hear the Lord and that we can hear the hope of his promise because he does have great promises and plans for your life. But here's the deal. The importance is of us staying in touch with the love of God. First John 4, 19 says, we love God because he first loved us. And so today, South Lake family, let's return to the love of God. Let's focus on the love of God. Let's make sure we're putting our place, our, ourselves in a place where we can receive his love so that then we can move into whatever circumstance face, circumstances faces this day in the power of his love and the strength of his encouragement. So let me pray for us. Lord, today we commit this day to you. We thank you, Lord, for your love in our life, that your love is always true. Your love is steadfast. Your promise in our life in Christ. Lord, encourage us today. And Lord, especially for any of us going through particularly difficult circumstances, thank you that you have, Lord, a future for us and a hope. And so we receive your love. Help us to live in your love, not in obligation, not in a sense of oppression, Lord, but help us to live in the love of God that is constant for us and we'll give you all the praise for what you what you will do. We commit our way to you, our day to you. We ask you to provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, amen. Well, have a great beginning to your week. I'll look forward to talking to, talking to you in the morning. God bless.